Hello, it's me. So today's video is going to be about um, how to finish up your fan veil. So I did finish mine. I finished them over the weekend and I'm actually pretty satisfied with how they came out, especially now that everything's dried and I've had a chance to go through everything. Um, so mine turned out like this. It's a little on the light side, especially the orange, but I actually kind of really like it. So um, the fans, uh, what they call these fan staves or fan skeletons, actually I really, really like them. Um, I like them because they're, they're durable, but they still have some flex to them. I mean, we can't obviously abuse them, and if something does snap, um, you know, we'll need like tape or wood glue to fix it up. But I don't know. I think with normal use, I think we're going to be just fine with these. Um, but I like, I like what kind of uh, effect it gives. So my fabric is a little bit on the stiff side. I did treat it with vinegar once over the weekend, and I feel like it could do like maybe one or two more treatments of vinegar, or vinegar and baking soda, um, and that'll probably do it. But it already got, it was pretty stiff at first, but it already got some of the flow back. So I just needed to like be a little bit flowier, and I'm gonna be happy with it. Um, another thing I really like about this is that, okay, I have the left side one here, so I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. So like this whole open type of thing, we need to be able to do that with these. And these fans permit us to do that. There is one thing I don't like about these fans though. And I'm gonna show you some of the unopened ones that I haven't given to you guys yet. And the issue with them is that they gave us all right-handed ones. <laughs> so that is an issue um, because, and I'll show you mine with this. Um, what you look for is, Okay, so here's my right side one, okay? So this front one that's facing the front here, I, when I hold this with my right hand, this is my right hand, I don't know if the video is flipped, that's my right thumb, okay? And this is actually the way that you hold a fan too so that you can start practicing. So your thumb will be in the front and the line of your thumb follows this exposed stick or stave right here in the front. In the back, this is what the back looks like. My pinky is holding down the opposite side to keep it open, okay? So that's the way you're appropriately holding a fan. If you try to put this in your other hand, it doesn't work. Where does my thumb go? I can't do it. <laughs> so you need a left-handed fan. So, okay, so again, here's my left hand. Flip it around here. Okay, here's my left thumb continue my thumb and there's yeah there's the front um actually it's not as exposed as the other one I, maybe i glued it wrong oops it's not that big a deal it's the the front one is the one that's closest because obviously we've got a depth issue here these are the ones that are furthest away from your hand this is the one that's closest and that's the one that your thumb lines up with and then the back the pinky is going to hang hang on to the one that's closest to it, which is the opposite, okay? Hopefully that makes sense in the video. You'll be getting instructed on this on our first day with fan veils. Um, I'm hoping um, it'll be our first class that we have in July. Okay, so what do we do about getting right-handed and left-handed fan veils? So some lucky recipient of a blue set is going to have me do one for them. Okay, so you can see this is a right side one. This is my right hand. It's my right thumb right there lining up with it, okay? The fans all came with a little bit of fabric on them because these were marketed as dance fans. In order to get the dance fan skeleton, a lot of them came with fabric. But in my case, it worked out really well because I just put my red end that I wanted anyways on the red side. So I took one of the red ones. But I have, they, they sent me mostly these, the blue ones, which is great because a lot of you have blue. Um, I have one more pair of the red ones. And I also have, I think, a couple of pairs of pink as well. Um, so like hot pink, right? So um, when I see you next, hopefully on Sunday, <laughs> um, hopefully we'll be able to take care of all that. Okay. And remember, you've already, I, I believe all of you are paid up. So like basically I'll just be giving you these. You don't owe me any more money except for class. Okay, so how do we turn this into a right-handed fan? Or, actually, this is a right-handed fan. We want a left-handed fan. Okay, on the... On the back side, this is actually two sets of fabric, okay? So 
Yes, actually, okay. Yeah, you'll see how this works. Okay, what we have to do is we have to peel up like the, the fabric on it, okay? Which is actually not a bad idea because when you go to assemble the whole thing to your veil part, you're probably going to want this front part off anyways. So that way you can sandwich your veil, your chiffon, in between these two parts here. Or if you don't want the color at all, if you feel like it doesn't match, well, that's fine. You can just um, attach your uh, chiffon directly to the skeleton and, um, and then you don't have to worry about any con color conflict at all. And then you've got extra fabric to use for whatever. So what I'm going to do is gently pull away this top layer of fabric. Okay, and it actually, as you can see, comes off very, very easily. Okay. I usually like to try to brace it down on something harder and flatter. I'm using a big Amazon box. <laughs> I felt like it was just a good height for this video. Okay, so I'm just giving it a little pull. Now we talked a little while on and off about sequins. This van does have sequins on it, as you probably noticed. Um, sequins, make sure you are fully done with the following things adding any moisture to your veil because obviously they'll fall off probably um, and wait until everything is fully assembled if you're reassembling this piece in the opposite direction or just back onto it um, you know obviously this handling of it is probably gonna make the sequins fall off so just keep that in mind um, I probably will end up adding more sequins to mine I just haven't yet because like I said I want to add more vinegar and if any vinegar gets on the sequins I'll, you know, I'll just be doing it again right <laughs> Yeah, but um, I'm already about halfway through. It doesn't take long at all. Yep, one sequence already fell off. <laughs> so while I'm finishing up, um, I have an interesting new itinerary for Sunday. Um, so Sunday, um, and I'll also be putting this in group and in chat and everything like that. On Sunday, um, we need to start class a bit later, actually. So there's been a request by Mindy <laughs> that we actually start at 8.30. So it's going to be a little bit of a later night, you know, have your dinner first, that kind of thing. Um, but actually, I am probably going to be in the vicinity a lot sooner. Um, I'm thinking um, I... I, if I know that people are going to be at the salon, um, you know, if, if you need any help with this or you want um, just a little extra assistance or any questions, um, I can be over at the salon by 8 o'clock. But actually, I may be at my store, you know, a couple doors down, actually even sooner than that. So I will probably be around anyways, um, maybe as early as like 7 o'clock. So, um, okay. So anyhow, I've reached the end. And actually what I'm going to try to do here is separate. There we go. It's on the back side. That's why. Okay. So this one actually, it looks like it's one piece, but it's not. It's actually two. There we go. Okay. So this is now completely detached. All right. I'm going to put this aside for right now. Okay. So what I now have, and I actually did some extra peeling. Oops. But that's okay because I got to flip things around anyways. So say you were working on your right side fan. Okay, which means we don't have to like flip anything opposite. Okay, say you just wanted to attach your uh, your chiffon to this. What you would end up doing then is gluing, and I'll show you some stuff about that too, because mine I got done and I'm really happy with that. You put some glue on each one of these. Then you take your chiffon. We'll use mine just as pretend. We'll pretend that I'm gluing this end, even though I'm not. Um, you lay it across. And then basically that'll finish it off. So I'm going to actually go into detail a little bit more into that uh, later on. Okay, so we're turning this one into a left side fan. So for that, you do have to peel off the other one. So I'm going to peel off the rest of the fabric. And you can see that this is just as fast as the other one. I feel like all of my sequins have fallen off. There's like five of them there. Honestly, they're kind of junky. It's not big, not a big loss for whoever gets this fan. Okay, I think I'm gonna flip this in actually. Oh, hey, there's some in the back. <laughs> okay. And there's a few little frays on this, but actually, the glue when you get it back on there that helps a lot with that.
this is so much easier if I just lay it flat. Because then I feel like it's braced when I put pressure on it. This is like the only slow part. <laughs> The next part though is really, really, really important though, so like, don't get too bored. <laughs> Getting there. Oh, there's the sound of another sequin going. You can see that these staves, this skeleton, is starting to become more and more free. seems like where the sequins are is actually adhered a lot stiffer. Oh, yeah. Almost there, like two more. behind me just for now okay so I now have the completely free skeleton okay so now what we have to do is reorient it all right so we want to turn this into a left side fan okay so this is my left hand and we want this front one to be two the, the left basically so actually maybe it makes more sense if you see it this way this is my left side okay so I'm bringing this top one towards the left thumb out okay see that it's my thumb right there okay it's got to go that way so that means the opposite one that you're gonna make like a 180 100 wow 180 degree angle so I will set my staves the ones on the end out in a straight line, okay? If they're in a little bit, that's not a big deal. And then I space these other ones out. And as you're looking at it, the top one is to the left, okay? If it's not, it's only gonna go right back to where it was and you'd have to start over and do it again. <laughs> okay, so I have it all fanned out now. This top one is to the left. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna do is take one of these and actually I'm gonna put it on the back side first. Is that how I did it before? Let me just check it real quick. Yeah, okay. So that was a cat. <laughs> yes, Jenny, you're singing a song. Okay. Alright. So the one that's that important top one that's going to the left, <laughs> am I annoying yet? Um, that one actually, this back piece of fabric is going to go underneath, and then it's going to go underneath all the rest, okay? So, I just want to make sure it looks good one more time, and then I'm actually going to fold it over, okay? Alright, from there, actually, maybe I'll just lay it, alright. So, if I flipped it over... The bottom one is pointed to the right now, okay? That's all we did was flip it. We didn't change anything. Okay, so this is the backside piece. What's really helpful with this, there we go, okay. Making sure the sequins are on the outside, or like the th three remaining sequins that are left. Okay, so I'm just gonna reorient it again so that's straight out. Now, how about lining these up? Do we have to measure them? Not really. Um, mine are not even. I'm gonna try to eyeball them to be equal. But actually, from the fabric that was left behind, if you still choose to use it, um, the, the old glue marks are still there, and the little folds as to where the staves were lining up. So actually, when I did mine, that's kind of how I did it, is I laid out the edge like this, and I laid out the other edge like this. Okay, how far out did I go? Well, I looked at where the color started, and where the color starts here. Okay. And then this is basically where I'm going to put the rest of my glue, okay? All right, let's talk about glue. 
This is tacky glue. It comes in a bottle like this. I've seen it at Dollar General. Um, or, I'm sorry, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. So a buck 25, how's that sound? This is a little bit of water. I filled it up to about here with water. So I'm basically um, uh, like watering down tacky glue. Tacky glue is very, very thick. When it comes out of here, you're gonna see. And I'm just gonna like put one glove in there. See that? Yeah, it's too thick for what we do we're doing, okay? But what I just did, that's probably enough. And I've got a paintbrush here. There we go. Okay. And that's all I'm going to need for this entire project. <laughs> Which I'm actually only doing one, so it's probably too much. Eek. Okay. So, give it a nice stir. So that it's nice, thin, almost like a decoupage glue. Okay. Mix it all up real good. Take my time here. So from there, basically paint the stave. It might be a little bit, yeah, you just want it to be like a thin glue. It'll stick fine. And then basically just paint it on. Now, I don't like working this way in, it's hard. So I did my first one. And now I'm just going to continue my way around. Okay. And actually, one thing I did do before, which did work well, was I painted each one first. Now, if you are choosing not to use the fabric that came with the veils, um, you can be doing this exact same thing to just your veil as well, okay? And in which case, that flip thing that we did, don't do that, okay? Make sure that the veil is going, you know, where your thumb is, on the same side as your thumb. done painting yeah your glue should be just a little thicker than this you should be able to see streaks of white but definitely water down a little bit almost done three more yeah, this is a little watery I hope this holds I think it will it just probably wouldn't hold up as well but if I start to see any separating, like, then we know to reinforce it with heavier glue. Or it might be fine, I don't know. Okay. All right, these are spaced out pretty well. Okay. So now, I just kind of lay this over it. Okay, keep that 180 degrees. Keep this over the edge. Use my fingers to press down the edge like that. And then I reposition these guys so that it's matching up with the lines. That's how I get them to space out because the center is kind of thin. And I'm not pressing yet. There we go. Oh, definitely want a little bit closer that way. Okay, cool. Looks good. All right. And now I just take my finger and I rub across each one. I'd recommend wearing gloves. You are going to get it on you because it's going to soak through. Okay, so what I just did was the back side, remember? There we go. Okay, the back side. Okay, the front side, that's where my thumb is. Looks like that. Glue there, make sure it stays. It's also quite wet, so. But actually, it gets uh, compressed again when we add more. Okay, at this point, what you would do, okay, this is the front side facing me now. At this point, you take the same glue, paint the front side. Everything is all spaced out now, so that's good. Being a little bit liberal, that way if it seeps along the edges, it will um, uh, it'll seal like the sides then too. Okay, we're actually sort of almost done. Okay, 
Okay, so it's already been reversed. So basically what I'm doing right now is the process that you would do both fans, your right side and your left side. Okay, so we've peeled off one layer. We have one layer of the given fabric peeled off now. So right now we're prepping to actually attach the entire veil part, the chiffon part you dyed. All right, so at this point, you take your chiffon, you would lay it straight across, okay? So I'll pretend, actually, you know what? I have one of those scrap pieces, so let me use that. Here's one of those uh, scrap ends that we had. I'm keeping them all for other plans, okay? So basically, this end I would lay across so that it comes out along the top of the fan, okay? So it continues to bubble out that way and that there's nothing over here. But lay it out straight. Don't try to like curve it, just go straight. What you're gonna end up doing is cutting this part out here, okay? So that the staves are exposed through. Or not, if you don't like how that looks, then you don't have to. I did, so let me show you what mine looks like. Okay, so the veil was laid straight across, straight down, and then I just cut this out, okay? All right, so before my glue uh, dries here, so let's say we've done that, you pressed it all into place. Now we want to finish it. Okay, so here is the second piece of fabric. Again, if you choose to keep it, I seal one end, kind of lining it up with the other one, like that. And then I seal the other end, lining it up with the other one so they're even. Okay, all right, now I'm just going to kind of space them out. The, oh, this one actually kind of went a little bit bigger, but that's alright. I would say bigger and wider is better than not enough. <laughs> okay. All right, I think I'm pretty much done plussing with it. Okay. So, there we go. Okay, now I'm just going to seal the rest of this. Store, once you have this part all done, store it open. Okay, I didn't, it took a lot longer, but I would say store it open. Also, that's partly why mine's a little bit more wrinkled too. Um, let's a little more. Okay, three more. My fingers are sticky. <laughs> okay, and actually I just want to add a little bit more to that part right there. Okay, all right. And say if we had the fan veil there, we would have a completed fan then, okay? And it's left side, okay? So whoever gets this lucky fan already has their left one done for them, so, okay. Um, so hopefully that answers your questions as to how to finish this. And um, then keep in mind on Sunday, class starts at 8.30. I will be around for anybody at eight o'clock. Just let me know and I'll get myself over there and help out. Um, if I'm already at the store or if I'm already at the salon, I'll just be like, oh, okay, I'll wait for you, <laughs> whatever. Okay, um, any other questions, let me know. Thank you very much. Bye.